Today on the table, I've got a Gigabyte RX 560 2 gig model, which does contain a 6 pin. So it's got 2 gig of DDR5, so it's a little on the slow side, but what I'm going to do is crack it open and replace the thermal paste on this. So this one I believe doesn't quite have the same gaming performance as an RX 570 so if you can get your hands on one of those or even an RX 470 that would definitely be preferable to this particular video card but this should do alright with most probably most eSport games running 60 FPS on medium graphics at 1080 resolution so it's not going to be super amazing but it's going to be better than integrated so I've taken out the four screws around the the chip itself now there's a couple of extra on here that you have to remove and then from there I should be able to crack it open so this one there we go now I did tear a thermal pad, as you can see, a couple of them. Now I don't have, any, don't have any on hand to replace it with, so we'll be leaving it as it is. But the priority here will be replacing the thermal paste. So we'll be using some isopropyl alcohol with just a, some tissue paper. And then from there I'm going to be replacing with some deep cool Z5 thermal paste which is some relatively cheap stuff comes in a decent quantity which usually means you can apply it on various other things or get multiple uses out of it and I'm using a pair of tweezers just to chip off any of the extra thermal paste that may be dry on the edges so this is a pretty typical replacement of thermal paste it's the same on most machines or most GPUs especially the ones that are in the similar market to this one. So the thermal paste that's actually on the cooler itself was stuck down a fair bit more than actually the remnants left on the chip. But now that's all cleaned up. Close to anyway. Yeah, there we go. So now that's all cleaned up, ready to go. From here, some new thermal paste. We'll put a fairly liberal amount of stuff on there. The 
there we go. So from here it's just a matter of realigning the heat sink and screwing it back down. So that's all for the video today. Hope this helps you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.